Good morning. Welcome to Waggy Dog. There's our buddy up there. There's Brewster. Just loping along. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. I'm talking about you. It's July 11th. A beautiful day. Very cool for July. I actually have a t-shirt on and a shirt over it. A couple days ago I could hardly sleep, it was so hot. Had the air conditioner cranking. Today, my lord, I need a blanket. A lot of violence in the last few days. The Black Lives Matter crew is out protesting, closing down highways. I see what's got them upset, those shootings. There's, there were two shootings last week of African Americans. Both looked pretty bad at the hands of police. That's upsetting to see. I did a little research into it. And the research actually paints a quite a different story than, than the story you get off the media. If you watch the news, you'd never never believe that white people were ever killed by police. You only see black guys being killed by police, and only by white cops. That's the story, white police killing black guys. It surprised me to find out that three times more white people are killed at the hands of police than black people. Three times more. Now maybe that says something about the violence perpetrated by police, or maybe it says something about the violence perpetrated by society. But what it doesn't say is that there's a plague on black people. You're three times more likely to be killed if you're white. The New York Times doesn't talk about that. CBS doesn't talk about that. NBC doesn't talk about that. Certainly the Black Lives Matter crowd doesn't talk about that. Oh, looks like we're going, taking the left down here, which is unusual for Brewster. He likes to go to the right. We go left only now and then. I really don't respect that Black Lives Matter movement. It's based upon a lie. It's not true that there's some sort of plague on black people. The hands up, don't shoot thing, that was a lie. The kid didn't have his hands up. He was wrestling the cop for his gun, charging him. What's the cop to do? Wait for the kid to take the gun and shoot him? Then he gets to shoot back? Give me a break. Easy, buddy. Be so casual with these crossings. It's windy. So after I discovered that the entire premise of the Black Lives Matter crowd is based upon a lie or falsehood or misrepresentation of the facts. I investigated a few other statistical issues just for my own curiosity. And I think what it what it kind of depicts is this massive gulf between perception and reality. Perception is that Democrats care for the black folks and that Republicans don't. Pretty much. That's that's the gig. That's the issue. That's the narrative that's perpetrated again and again and again. You can hardly 
get away from it. It's just so ingrained. So I kind of wanted to know, well, is that true? Is that true? One thing that is true is that African Americans are the most loyal Democratic voting bloc there is. They vote approximately 90% of the time for the Democrat, and they've been doing that since the Civil Rights era, 50, 60 years. For 55, 60 years, maybe longer, African Americans have been voting for Democrats 90% of the time. Stay there. And for their loyalty, by voting Democrat 90% of the time, the African-American population has gotten this. Lowest household income. Highest unemployment rates. Highest out of wedlock birth rates. Second lowest high school graduation rate. I was a little surprised Native Americans actually graduated at a lower level. in the black community. Stay there. The black community lives in a much more violent culture. Compared to a white person, you're seven and a half times more likely to commit a murder if you're a black guy, a black woman I suppose, and you're five and a half times more likely to be the victim of a murder. That picture, seven and a half times more likely to commit, five and a half times more likely to be a, a victim. What does that tell me? That tells me it's a, just a more violent culture. More violent, maybe I shouldn't even say the word culture, more violent community. You're living in a more violent atmosphere. I'm afraid of being murdered in a general way, although not in a specific way. I live in a pretty peaceful environment. Still, I'm careful at night. I got into a little issue just about two or three weeks ago. That's a mole with a car like the one that just passed me. This guy made a bluff turn at me in his car. I'm getting off to the side of the road with Brewster here. It's nighttime. I kind of wave my hand like, hey, there's a person here. You're weaving awfully close to me. So the guy turned directly at me. Kind of made a feint before he turned away, just oh, a few feet before killing me. Then he stopped down the road about 50 yards, and I stood out in the middle of the road, and I just stood there. And I stared into the guy's rear view mirror, and I was thinking to myself, I'm going to clock, excuse me, I'm going to belt this guy. He stayed there for about 10 seconds, then he drove on. When I got home, I was kind of shaking because I thought, well, what happens if he got out of the car with a gun? What happens if he got out of the car with a pipe? What happens if he got out of the car and he was 6'5"? But I was kind of ready to go. I didn't really like that. Pretending to hit me with the car. Man, oh man. A lot of wind. So 
I live in what I would call a pretty peaceful environment. But even I had a little issue a few weeks ago. If I lived in the same environment that most African Americans live in, it would be five to seven times more violent. That's scary. That's uncomfortable to think about. So you posit these facts and you stack them up next to the indisputable fact that African Americans vote Democrat 90% of the time, or thereabouts. And if you're me, you ask a fundamental question. Why the hell do you keep voting Democrat? Look what it's gotten you. Look what it's gotten you. You're last in every major statistical category. It's a disaster. You vote Democrat, your lives get worse. Okay, I'm gonna go down to East Hunting Ridge. This is a pretty unusual walk for Brewster. Don't know if I've ever taken the camera down here. He likes to go down here and just go farther and farther and farther because this road is dead straight for about three quarters of a mile. So he wants to just, no, no, that's poison ivy over there. Poison ivy, gotta stay out of there. He wants to just keep going farther and farther and farther. I have to pull him back. Obviously, some dog has peed here recently. Bruce is fascinated by that. Yep, so you vote for the Democrat 90% of the time for 50 years and for your troubles. You're last in household income, last in unemployment, first in out of wedlock birth, first in violence using that one set of statistics. And I got all these statistics off the internet, by the way. Why would you vote Democrat? It doesn't work. It sounds good. President Obama always sounds good. But none of his policies work. Indeed, black unemployment has grown worse under President Obama. Black household income has gone down vis-a-vis -vis other folks. Black violence, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. It sure doesn't seem like it's any better. The whole racial divide is clearly much worse under President Obama than it has been since I was a kid. Why do African Americans vote Democrat? I don't get it. I think there's a huge opportunity for Donald Trump there. All you have to do is say, look, perception is one thing, but look at the reality. For 50 years you voted Democrat and you're in last place in every category. Why would you continue to vote Democrat? What sense does that make? Why wouldn't you try another approach? Okay, come on, buddy. Just an opinion. I'm sure the news media would spin it like crazy. That's what they do. That's what they do. The black guys killed by the cops. It's front page news. It, it's the opening scene for CNN and NBC. They just dwell on it. At the same time, five white guys could have been killed. You don't ever hear about that. I don't know the name of a single white guy who was killed by the cops. That's a non-event. A black guy killed, killed by the cops. It's a national tragedy. And some of those situations do look tragic. I mean, some of them, you know, the guy's pinned in the ground. Cop shoots him. Ah, oh, jeez. On the other hand, somebody was yelling, he's got a gun, got a gun, got a gun. Put yourself in the cop's position. If he thinks this guy's got a gun, how long does it take the guy to pull the trigger? 
tenth of a second. If he's got a gun, you're right next to him. Well, you either shoot or get shot. So I can see the cop being scared. I can see the cop thinking it's me or him. Still, it's always tragic. At any rate, just a thought. If I were Donald Trump, I think there's a huge opportunity there. If you could get your message right, if you could stick to a message. Vote Democrat. It's going to be more of the same, if not worse. Your lives are going to get worse, not better. Liberalism doesn't work. It doesn't work. All right. See you later.